Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for January 2021 and for the sign of Aries. So I hope you're well. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your message from Spirit card. So what do we have please, Angel Spirits Guides for Aries, please? Okay. So the message here is ground yourself. So we have been distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and to reconnect with the divine source. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, you can see that tree there. And remember, the tree can sway in the wind, but it doesn't break because it has firm roots. It doesn't topple. It understands how to plant roots firmly into the earth and ground itself and it can be in times of when things are you know change or changing environments and so on so for some of you it's a really nice message okay what do we have for aries please angel spirits guides message for aries please what is the message from spirit for aries for january 2021 and remember aries it can just be advice. It could be something specific, something big or small. We will just see what happens. Okay. So the message here, Aries, we have number 14, energy signature, the past is in the present. And it's about grounding yourself now on how you bring growth. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the challenge you need help from Spirit on. Second card is the advice from Spirit. And the third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Aries. So just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what is the message for Aries, please, our lovely Aries? What is the message from Spirit, please, Angels, Spirit's Guides? January 2021. I did say January 2021, didn't I? I think I did. I mean, you know, Angel Spirit's Guides know anyway. <laughs> okay, what do we have for Aries, please? Message for Aries. Two cards. Death. Eight of Swords. Very beautiful that we have fortune and it's in the advice from spirit. Wow. And we have the Knight of Cups in your outcome. Okay, let's clarify the cards. Oh, it's interesting. I pre-shuffle before every reading. And yeah, I mean, this is quite powerful because the death cards appeared here again. Okay. Death card is uh, the metamorphosis energy of transformation. So what do we have for Aries, please? Okay, yeah, yeah. Ace of Swords. The Page of Pentacles is clarified with the, is clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, very nice indeed. And we have the Knight of Cups, which clarifies the Ten of Cups. And Two of Wands, which is Aries energy actually at the bottom of the deck. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups, please. So 
So we've got the Three of Wands Aries, which again is Aries energy. It came out reversed. So let me just have a look at this. There's a, there's a feeling of, of feeling lost here. I'm getting this energy of feeling lost. Because uh, the death card can be an ending or deep change in your circumstances that require you to, to shed an old skin to embrace, to, to release old, I mean, it can be to do with old patterns or old baggage in order to make space for the new. But this, whatever's ended here, there's an energy with the Eight of Swords of, I don't know how to move forward. You know, I have no clarity in what I'm gonna do or how I'm gonna move forward. Um, it feels in this situation, there's, there's a feeling of being lost. That sometimes the Eight of Swords, it can be a kind of lack of focus where you can look at so many opportunities or so many directions that you don't actually end up moving anywhere, you know? And the Death card is saying now is the time for you to transform. Now is the time for you to step into your light. Now is the time to release the old in order to embrace the new. But this is somebody who's, who's, who's experienced some kind of ending here in whatever situation this is. And it feels in this situation that they don't know how to move forward. It feels a bit like feeling a bit lost, rabbit in the headlight scenario, that kind of energy. Um... But the message is with the, with the Ace of Swords, you will get some kind of epiphany, some moment of clarity. Um, the Ace of Swords, it can be the breakthrough card, but it can be the, the mental clarity, the decisiveness, the, the logic, the reason, everything becoming clear. Because the Ace of Swords is the universe giving you this sword, which is very much linked with the mind, how we perceive something, our thought patterns, our mental energy. And in this situation, it feels like there's some kind of epiphany coming your way, but it's a challenge because it feels like you're lost. But there's definitely a message, even though in this challenging position, there is some kind of epiphany that you're getting, some clarity in, in how you need to move forward to a situation. I mean, it's either that Aries or the breakthrough just isn't coming quickly enough for you. And you just feel a bit lost because this is somebody who is trying to move on from the old, but they're not going anywhere right now. So it can be that kind of energy as well. Either there's some kind of some clarity in how you need to move forward, or it can be an energy of I'm just not getting that breakthrough. I'm not getting a lucky break. Nothing's happening for me. Well, the message is you're going to get a lucky break because, and I'm, get, I'm getting that wording to a T. Um, so definitely getting lucky break energy here because the Wheel of Fortune is, yeah, things may have felt beyond your control because they were. If things don't happen in your time when divine timing and orchestration's happening. It happens on the time scale of the universe, divine timing, orchestration. Things happen when they're meant to happen. And there's a feeling of feeling powerless um, sometimes when the Wheel of Fortune presents itself because things happen when they're meant to happen. Uh, it is a card of, however, things turning in your favour, and that's what Spirit is saying. If the breakthrough hasn't been happening, if you haven't been catching a lucky break, and I'm getting more and more of that energy here, Aries, it feels soon you will do because things are going to turn in your favour. And as one door closes, there's de definitely an energy with a, with a wheel of fortune of 
the universe will open another one for you. Um, this is great in terms of good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth, prosperity. It's very good in terms of money and career. It's very good in terms of, of the universe wanting to bring you gifts, wanting to bring good things into your life now. It's a period of, of you know, get ready for things to just, obstacles to be removed, for things to go in your favour. So it feels a very beautiful energy. And the Page of Pentacles can be to do with some kind of, it can be to do with career financial opportunities. I mean, also the, the Page of Pentacles, it might well be if this was some kind of epiphany moment here, Aries. It might well be that you've, in, in the, while you've been stuck, you've decided to focus on developing your skills, experience, maybe getting an extra qualification, um, keep on doing the work in terms of putting your CV out, if it's to do with money career, for example. Um, it, feels, it feels like money career areas, the, way, the more I'm talking about it. Um, it's, the, it's the practical things that you need to do to set yourself up for long-term gain. And, and that's what the page, of, page does. It, it's a learning energy as well, learning new skills, experience, developing yourself, self-development, to be ready to catch the lucky break. You know, it's that kind of energy. So it is a card of focusing because things are going to turn in your favour and focusing on the things that you need to do to really make this breakthrough happen for you. Where there hasn't been progress, it feels like there's going to be progress. It's interesting because the the three of, of wands in its in its can be about delays when it's reversed. And it's to do with this Knight of Cups. Now the Knights can be offers, opportunities. It feels in this energy, this Knight of Cups, I mean, yes, this can be in terms of matters of the heart. Um, but it feels like there's, there's some kind of opportunity that brings change, that brings joy. And that's what I'm feeling with the Knight of Cups. He's bringing in some kind of joy, some kind of change that's making you happy, that's very much connected to your heart, something that you really want. But it feels in this situation there's been some delays here. It feels like there's been some delays in terms of getting something that you really wanted. And it's, it's kind of what I'm, I'm feeling. The, the two of ones, however, is the beginnings of progress. I mean, sometimes we see this about life choices and it can be. Maybe there is some kind of life choice that needs to be made here because there are delays here. Um, it might well be for some of you that there are some choices that you need to make. Um, choosing what you want, what you don't want now, it can be in that kind of energy. It feels in this situation, it feels in this situation, this, this two of wands is bringing in some kind of progress. Let's clarify the two of wands, please. Because we've gone from a one to, two, one to two, which is generally about progress. And obviously the three is about something good coming your way. So I, first signs, it definitely feels to do with the beginnings of progress. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the offer. So it's the beginning of progress. The, the Knight of Pentacles is the solid offer. <laughs> yeah, and, and the Knight of Pentacles is, is an offer that helps you back on track. It's, it's a wonderful recovery energy. But again, this Knight of Pentacles takes a long time to come. So we've got the beginnings of progress here. And that's what I'm seeing in its purest sense with the Minor Arcana. There's the beginnings of progress in a situation where there's been delays in terms of some kind of opportunity. Again, a feeling of being in powerlessness. Uh, pow powerlessness? Powerless? <laughs> 
the breakthrough just isn't happening. I'm not catching a lucky break. And then the Knight of Pentacles appears, the beginnings of progress here. And it's something definitely that you want to take a chance on towards your future. It feels that this is what you've been manifesting. And again, this is somebody making you an offer. Um, the offer, the opportunity coming in, again, divine timing. And it's what you've been manifesting. You know, this is something what you might have been learning, developing yourself, manifesting, working hard to achieve. And again, this is the offer, the opportunity that's bringing in the solid offer, positive change. This can be to do with contracts or client wins as well, Aries, or new business wins as well. Um, but it feels that that's, this is associated with where your future lies. And the Ten of Cups is a wonderful energy because it feels like what this is doing is bringing happiness, joy, not just for you, but for your family, your home, your setting, your, your surroundings, children if you have children. The Ten of Cups is a really interesting energy because it's a card of the universe aligning you as well. It's the rainbow of blessings. And there's definitely an energy of divine, divine orchestration at play here. You're being realigned to a new path. And what is luck? Luck is the universe kind of smiling on you, coincidence, synchronicities, things just happening beyond your control that are going in your favor. And it's bringing in this Ten of, pe ten of Cups, the Rainbow of Blessings, the Happy Ever After card, but it's the card of productivity. It's taken a lot of hard work. And these people both work constructively at their relationship, at providing for their home, their family, their relationship, and their practical needs. And that they feed the rainbow as well. So it's working in tandem with spirit, God, the universe, the divine to align productively to where you need to be. And I definitely feel that that is very much in terms of manifesting this opportunity, which is bringing happiness, joy, celebration into the home. So it feels a very beautiful energy because it feels like there's been some delays and you feeling powerless. And the universe is telling you here, even as a war even even in your challenge position, be the warrior. You know, be that warrior. This is the warrior sword. Um, even though you don't seem to be catching a lucky break, the lucky break is coming. So definitely an energy of you will be able to move on from whatever the past was, whatever the ending was here. It feels now is the time just regroup, ground yourself, and do the practical things that you need to do to really bring the long-awaited opportunity or offer into your, into your life. The knight doesn't move at a fast pace, the knight of pentacles. He moves at slow pace. That's why sometimes you feel a little bit stuck, a little bit stagnant. But nevertheless, when he arrives, he is something solid, stable, secure that you can that brings growth. Okay. So final message for Aries. Final message for Aries, please. Final message for Aries, please. And it might well be, and I am talking about this lucky break, there's an element of coincidence here. There's an element of synchronicity happening. You're just thinking, how strange did I bump into that person? You know, and they might have something to do with an opportunity or a connection or a conversation that you might have this month. It might propel just this ripple effect, this domino effect that leads to the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Final message for Aries, please. Angel Spirits Guides, final message for Aries. Thank you. Yeah, you see, <laughs> we've got grounding again. We've got the elephant. Ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. And the, the earth energy is practical skills, focus, um, practical work, you know, hard work. It's that kind of energy. You know, and Aries isn't afraid of hard work. You know, you are a hardworking sign. So he feels definitely for some of you, it's leading to this rainbow of blessings. So I love the energy here, Aries. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.